Welcome back to another episode of uh oh shit. Today we will talk about uh, short-term rentals. So any of you watching and um, you're thinking about doing Airbnb short-term rentals, this is it right here. All right, Mr. Clark, what can you tell us about this uh, Airbnb short-term rental? It is, uh, it is a challenge to get licensed. So here in the Las Vegas Valley, we have the county. We have the city of Las Vegas. We have the city of North Las Vegas. And then we have uh, city of Henderson. And they all have different roles and, and they, they all have different um, requirements and how to get licensed for um, to uh, so you could make it into a short term rental. So first we define what is a short term rental. Tell me what's short term. Yeah. So short term rental is anything less than 30 days. That, well, yeah. Yeah. Because uh, once it gets to 30 days, then they're considered a tenant. And now they, if, then they have a, a rights of uh, being a tenant once it <laughs> once they stay there for, for more than 30 days. That's so it. if we go to the Clark County, um, there is a licensing requirement. And up to now, it's still a, um, uh, up to now, it, it's still a lottery. Oh, is yeah. It? Uh -huh. So Clark County has a lot of, you know, um, a lot of areas like, um, you know, Spring Valley, um, uh, what, what you call it, Sunrise Mountain, Enterprise, Paradise, Nevada, even the Strip is considered the county. I see. So, um, yeah, and one of, the, um, one of the requirements is that it has to be, you know, you cannot do it in, if there's an apartment. If you, you cannot do it in an apartment, it has to be single family. It has to be a, owned by a person, not an entity. So you can't do it as an LLC. And I think you can only have one license per person. If I look at here, um, okay. So um, no person shall engage in the business of operating a short-term rental unit without first obtaining and thereafter maintaining a valid unexpired business license pursuant to this chapter. And uh, the cost to once you get you know once you get a license for it, you'd have to renew it every year. And there's a renewal fee. I think it's like close to fifteen hundred a year on it. And um, so these are the requirements for the Clark County. Each natural person must be at least eighteen years of age. No business entity, so no LLC, mm -hmm. right? Um, and eligible property owners is here. You cannot have more than one short-term rental unit in the unincorporated areas of Clark County. Um, and that has to be a natural person on it. Ineligible rent residential units, you cannot do it in a mobile home or a manufactured home. You can't do it in Mount Charleston, Moapa Valley, Mesquite, or Bunkerville. Uh, has to be con connected to a municipal wastewater system. So if you have septic on it, then you can't do it. Can't do it. Can't yeah. do it. Can't be on it. Um, residential, uh, you cannot do it on an apartment building or if you have an HOA or a common interest community. If you go to the other, if you go to um, HOA uh, properties, you would see most of the rules that they have. You cannot have. Uh, most of the time, you can't do short-term rental on it if there's an if there's an HOA. Usually, they require at least six months or at least one uh, twelve months uh, rental. Um, here, and here's the other thing: it, the property has to be um, at least twenty five hundred feet away from a hotel. Oh, so you can get close to that. So. Yeah, you can. Yeah. So um, gonna be so if it's close to the strip, you're gonna be a little. Bit far off from there. Yeah. Um, there you go, and then you have to be in line with um, with noise, uh, trash uh, laws on it. Um, so the application shall at the minimum contain the street address, 
number of bedrooms i don't think they're limiting it in las vegas they're limiting it to three bedrooms i don't think they're limiting it here for the county i see um each application and blah, blah, blah. and is it still uh, uh somewhere i've read that per bedroom only two it's like per bedroom you need a maximum of two person per bedroom is that is that correct uh i believe so it doesn't state here specifically but i would think so yeah so if the okay here we go the annual fee for more than three bedrooms is 1500 if it's three or fewer bedrooms is 750. and typically yes there is a maximum limit of people that on there they usually it's about two per per room per room i see yeah so let's say i get a uh an airbnb a airbnb at my house can we do parties? Can we do, you know, bachelor parties, weddings, any kind of parties, birthday parties? Are, are we allowed to do that? Um, if, if I'm there, yes. Okay. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> there, are, there are regulations. So the reason why it's ha so heavily regulated was because a lot of uh, people who are neighbors of this of these houses complain to the city. Yes. And some of these people are very powerful people, right? Um, and some of these people, they own casinos and they complain to the city um, because these uh, houses became party houses. Um, so there has to be a noise regulation and a trash yeah. regulation on it. And of course it has to be connected to the sewer. So um, many times for a lot of my clients who have Airbnbs, they place a 10 o'clock PM um, uh, no, uh, noise uh, curfew and then um, they have to like make sure that it the number of people coming to that house is really the number of people, otherwise they'll kick them out. Oh, yeah, wow. and they have to keep the house uh, tidy and clean. Uh, a lot of times it's corporate rentals too. For um, for the Airbnb that I have, it's mostly corporate rental too. So mostly mm -hmm. it has to be uh, they cannot do parties, and it's going to be and it's they usually stay there. A lot of my a lot of the tenants are um, casino. Um, casino employees who are required to go to other places, let's say cybersecurity guys, mm -hmm. they go, they do three months in Florida and then they do three months here and then go three months in New Jersey, something like that uh, to make sure the system is working for them. Um, so yeah, um, we do limit the number of people coming and in, coming up. into the house. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Um, how about, uh, property tax? I know property tax last year mm -hmm. here in Vegas got, you know, every, a lot of households got sent more than they're supposed to. We got that letter. Well, talk to me about the taxes re yeah. in regards to Airbnb short-term rentals. So it is uh, considered as a rental property. Okay. So uh, for homeowners, the cap for tax increase is 3% of the property tax. For rental properties, it's going to be 7%. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. So this one, it will be at 7%. I see. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the ones that we got last year that you know, that they were saying 7%, 8%, those are for people that has rental properties. Yes, not so that property is, con they're considering it as a rental property. Exactly. It's most likely that when they sent the letter out, they didn't fill up the, the form mm -hmm. and they didn't submit it. Because, you know, if you're a new homeowner, you're gonna get a lot of mails, a lot of scam <laughs> mails too. Yes. And for something like that, you'll probably throw it in the trash can, but then, if you don't fill that up, it's going to be uh, your taxes are going to be a lot higher. And that's what year. we saw last year. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's for the Clark County. For Las Vegas, um, they were the funds. They were the first ones who regulated Airbnbs, mm -hmm. and many times it's the same rules. Only thing is the has to be uh, three bedrooms. Okay. Yeah, so I saw a lot of uh, houses in Las Vegas that I knew were being uh, used for short-term rentals. Because there used to be, they used to be, it used to be five bedrooms, and then they converted it into just three big bedrooms, right? And then, um, and then, uh, then they file for the, then they file for the permit. Uh, it has to be three bedrooms and the taxes. So, so that's, that's that. That's how. That's how I know. It's uh, a lot of times, house uh, people when people go to Airbnbs here in, in Vegas and they want to use it for you know for pleasure, uh, they look for homes that are you know big. Mm -mm. Uh, and they have pools, you know. Um, so if you if you're uh, Airbnb, if you're looking to buy an Airbnb and you're looking to get licensed, look at those uh, considerations. Those are the houses that gets 
booked the most. Uh, mm -hmm. So the closer to the strip you are, um, the faster you get booked. Yeah. Nice. And of course, you may I have to make sure um, when you're in you when you are designing one that's Airbnb uh, place furniture that's uh, not very common um, that doesn't remind them of their house out of state. <laughs> so that's that. So you make it fun. Uh, so that's uh, that's what's make uh, that's that is what would make your um, Airbnb get booked uh, pretty quick. You know. All right. Yeah. So that's uh, Las Vegas, um, North Las Vegas. Almost the same, almost the same um, rules as Clark County. Uh, I think you just have to apply for zoning. So mm -hmm. it has to be conditional use zoning. And then apply for the permit. Uh, I think North Las Vegas is probably one of the most lenient uh, out there. But also since it's farther away from the strip, mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure if it gets booked that much as, as Las Vegas That's and the county. Uh, Henderson, um, is pretty saturated now. There, I mean, I don't think there's going to be any any new license that's going to be there because they they place a rule. So for for Clark for Clark County for Las Vegas and for North Las Vegas, there's like a 660 feet away from the next short term rental. Okay. And city of Henderson has to be 1,000 feet away. Oh, so it's a lot yeah. farther. And if you go to their uh, site map, you would see all the short term rentals out there. So if you, so if you're looking to make your house a short-term rental, you have to check the your neighbors, which ones, which one, yeah, and make sure the HOA allows it. So in general, it's just, um, it's very challenging to get a short-term rental license here because you're you're going against the, the hotels and the hotels, uh, you know, the hotels dictate um, Las Vegas. So yeah, and a lot, there's a lot of movement out there for, for people going against regulation of short-term rentals. Mm -hmm. There are also a lot of uh, short-term rentals out there that are, that are operating illegally. Uh -oh. We, uh, When we talked about Airbnb arbitrage, most of those coaches are, are gonna give you uh, advice that, that makes it uh, that makes you operate illegally. Wow. So I don't trust any of those uh, those uh, coaches and gurus um, teaching uh, Airbnb arbitrage. How much is a violation? Let's say yeah. the county came in and they found out that you know, you're know mm you -hmm. doing illegal Airbnb short term. So this is similar on all of us, but let's say talk about um, Las Vegas. Oh, sorry, uh, the county. If you're operating uh, an illegal uh, short term rental in the county, um, there is a code enforcement division. Same thing with Las Vegas. They come into your house and then they put uh, uh, on, on the garage door or on the door, they place a notice that says this year's operating a short-term rental illegally. Please uh, stop doing it. So that's the, considered a warning. And then once they, if you still continue to do it, um, it can be up to $1,000 a night. Wow, that you put it there, and most of the time, it's the neighbors that are complaining. That the neighbors would be calling the short-term rental division, mm -hmm. the code enforcement um, division, and complain about you know, hey, this house is uh, operating uh, Airbnb. Uh, there's different people every night, and then they're they're doing loud parties and all that. So yeah, I see. Wow. Um, well, that's all about our uh, short-term rental, Airbnb. Um, is there anything else, Mr. Clark? Seems like you covered a big deal of this Airbnb here in Vegas and around the county, basically. Yes, uh, if there's someone advertising uh, to for you to buy a, a house that's good for Airbnb, uh, please do your research about it, okay? Um, there are Airbnbs that are grandfathered in because they were licensed all the way before that. But then, if you change um, if you change owner, it doesn't mean it's not gonna be uh, it's not gonna get the same license. So that's uh, that's false. If they say that hey, this one's ready for Airbnb, so please do your research on those, or you could contact uh, me or any of my team over here, so we could do your research for you. Thank you very much. All right, thank you guys for watching our episode. See you till next time. Bye.